Mary Kay Tracy, I go to the presentation secondary school Tireless. I am a Nave ALV and we think that the most popular mode of transport in 2040 will be hydrogen cars. Electric cars are great, they produce no pollution and are cheap to run, but electric car drivers suffer from rain anxiety. A typical electric car will only travel 172 kilometres on full charge. There are also a very limited number of charge points around the country. Hydrogen is number one on the periodic table. It has one electron and one proton. It is found in many compounds such as water and carbon hydrate. Hydrogen is a highly explosive gas and it blew up in Hindenburg. Hydrogen can be produced by the electrolysis of water. A Hoffman voltmeter is used to split the water into hydrogen and oxygen gas. This is a more expensive way to produce hydrogen as electricity is used to produce it. Electricity is produced from the burning of fossil fuels which increases the carbon footprint. Hydrogen is produced by steam reforming of methane gas. Methane gas is a natural gas. It's combined with water at high temperatures. In the presence of a catalyst, the two react together and produce hydrogen carbon dioxide. The two are then separated and the hydrogen is used as a source of fuel for hybrid cars. Hydrogen cars don't have engines like a normal petrol or diesel car. They have a fuel cell. A fuel cell is a device that uses a chemical reaction to create electricity directly from the hydrogen and oxygen. A fuel cell makes it possible to make energy um, by using a membrane to keep the two gases apart. On one side, the hydrogen molecules lose electrons to the anode to form H plus ions, which diffuse through the electrolyte in the centre of the cell on the other side. These H plus ions react with oxygen and gain electrons from the cathode to produce water. For this to happen, electrons have to flow from the anode to the cathode in an electric current. So if your cell works just like a battery with a much higher energy capacity that you can recharge by adding more hydrogen. Although they are called hydrogen cars, they are actually hybrids. This is because they use two power sources, a regular battery and a fuel cell. Both of them drives, drives the motor, which essentially drives the car. When you put in the hydrogen, the chemical process creates a flow of electricity. This drives the motor. The only byproduct is water. Are hydrogen cars safe? Even though hydrogen is highly flammable, it is contained in carbon fibre storage tanks. Petrol is also highly flammable and people drive around every day without a care. So what are the advantages of hydrogen cars? They have a much longer driving range than electric cars and have a range of up to 502 kilometres. Uh, they produce no pollutants, only water, and they are silent so they reduce noise pollution. And this is why we think that hydrogen hybrid cars will be the most popular form of transport for us in a rural area in 2040.